Hey guys, just wanted to show you a project I'm working on. This is gonna be a, a, a working space. Um, it's my garage, put some walls on it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, while I'm showing you this, I wanted to share a, a word from the Lord. And um, I was noticing uh, I was noticing, so I don't know if you guys know, but I live, I live in a, in a farm, I'd say, <laughs> we have chickens and goats, um, and it's not a business at all, it's just something that we really love having here at home, um, and the kids uh, grow in an environment where they have chores, and they have the space to just be, you know, be boys, but when I pulled into my driveway, I felt the Holy Spirit give me a word for all of us. Um, and it has to do with being fed. And that's a phrase that we church folks say a lot, you know, being fed. You know, um, I went there and I was fed. And there's a parable in the Gospels. Um, and in short, it's about, you know, dogs go back to their vomit. Right? It's a really descriptive um, metaphor and the human when when we commit a sin and we repeat that that picture comes to my mind that Jesus shared in the Bible that we're not a slave to sin but without Christ we're like dogs going back to the vomit going back to where you vomited last going back to where you were fed and all of those things are symptoms and what I want to convey by the grace of the Holy Spirit, is that sin is a symptom. Sin is not your design. It's not um, how you have been made. It's not your purpose. Because you're a human, you're a sinner. No, you're not a sinner if you are in Christ Jesus. You're a new creation, born again. Jesus Christ lives in you. Sin is now a symptom of not eating the manna from heaven and when you're not being with him alone with him spending some time with him allowing him to nourish your soul then sins spring forth and those are symptoms of the absence of fellowship and connection with God and I just want to encourage you it's never too late taking five minutes ten minutes carving out time on your calendar to be alone with Jesus. And I even say this to myself as well. And it's one of the reasons why I put together um, Cultivate His Presence and some new programs that will be coming out um, that I haven't launched yet, but it's in the works. It's really to create a culture of people going after Jesus um, with, with a spirit of excellence, with diligence. The scripture says He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And so... If you're new to this channel and you've watched all the way up to this point, I want to welcome you. Hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up if this content has blessed you. Let's cultivate his presence together. Take care.